We're going to go to Brother Leader very, very quickly now in terms of um, closing. And I want, what you need to do to Brother Leader in, in, in our closing is substantiate the imperative or the superior, the superiority of independent organization over um, p- uh, parliamentary, parliamentary party, engagement. Yeah. Yeah. Party politics. Right. Right. You've got a couple minutes here. Kind of like, yeah, ten nine one. Thank you very, very much, SG Vibes. Ten, ten nine one. I have to say to, to my sister, Oracle, that it seems like something of a double standard to, to champion the cause of women meeting exclusively to advance um, women's concerns and women's, uh, to discuss women's concerns and, dis- and advance women's um, issues. And then to imply that there's something wrong about Africans organizing among themselves exclusively to empower themselves and to address our issues. And, and to compare that with Nigel Farage, who is a white man, who is a white supremacist, um, who is uh, uh, who uh, who is on that side of that racial divide that has subjected African people to oppression for over f- and exploitation degradation for over four hundred years? Well, that's what I, I started that, by saying. I think that if I sorry, it, sorry, it, because I, I, no, I wasn't I, talking about politically s- coming s- together. I was talking about living. I was talking about having s- a piece of land. Sister Oracle, okay, ten nine one. Yeah, can, can we close? Well, we can't. We can't interfere with discussion. Sorry. I, I'm so sad that we don't have more time Indeed. because there are a number of things I would yes. want to, to, to address here. No, we just uh, the, the inference, for instance, that um, you know, 45,000 uh, uh, black Pentecostals mm. are so politically engaged and so dynamically involved in political activism. I don't know where these f- um, 45,000 people are. My, my, paper. Um, I know a lot of pen- black Pentecostals. I'm engaged with a number of them. Uh, who uh, are frustrated by the lack of social and political engagement. I'm not saying there aren't 45,000 um, Pentecostals. No, no, no. no. Yeah. We're, we're I'm talking about the, 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 the political the level of political engagement. And I don't know where they, um, where, how I can't see the evidence of them engaging in the wider community. And that concerns me. And it concerns a lot of more conscious black Pentecostals that I know. I see models in the United States that I don't see here. But let me just close with the words of Papa, uh, Papa Garvey. He says, and I'm, I'm reading very quickly, I'm going to close on this because I know we're out of time. Page 29 of Message to the People, okay? Course of African Philosophy and its aims and objectives. Obje- uh, is the, the objective number six of what the UNIAACL stands for, Papa Garvey's organization, to, to assist in the development of, he uses the word Negro, which is a term used then, of African nations and communities. And Papa Garvey says, the African should develop every section of the communities in which he lives. That is his. So that he may control that section or part of that section of the community. I wanted to read more, but because of time, I will not. That is what I am inspired by, and I didn't answer fully the question about what is my black agenda. Mm-hmm. Well, my, my black agenda is the Al-Kebalan revivalist movement mm-hmm. in conjunction as a liberation movement uh, uh, that is based upon an African-centered spiritual, cultural philosophy called Al-Kebalan liberty, which means living according to the divine teachings and traditions of our mother culture, and which adheres to the nationalist pan-Africanist uh, ideology of Marcus Messiah Garvey mm-hmm. and Papa Omawale Malcolm X, and I would break that down if I had time, but I don't have time to break it down. My, my, Messiah, agenda, my agenda, my black agenda for our people is the interim national African People's Parliament, mm-hmm. where we're seeking to mobilize African people to uh, pool our resources, to organize our ideas around our own agency, our own capacity, and build a nationwide independent representative body that will promote preserve and protect the best interests. my last point is this i know that there are those among us who are engaged in so-called mainstream politics Mm -hmm. i accept that that is part of our uh, living reality Mm -hmm. and therefore i accept that people like me must work with them Mm -hmm. but i'm saying if you are engaged in the mainstream any aspect of the mainstream sister um, oracle talk about having a seat Uh, anyway there's there's power we should have a seat 
But if we are, if we are not coming from a power base, if we're not backed up by a power base, we will get absorbed by power. Yes. We will get neutralized by power because mm -hmm. we don't come with any power. Mm -hmm. And one individual up, up against organized forces does not represent power. I don't care how mm -hmm. deluded you are. Uh -huh. That does not represent power. Uh -huh. Power only comes from the people united and organized. Right. And only African unity and organization will yield power to African people. All so right. I say unite and close, as I always do, with the words of the most eminent prophet and king, His Excellency Marcus Messiah Garvey, unite, organize now, or perish. Say it again. Unite, organize now, or perish. Rise, you mighty African people, for you can accomplish whatever you will. Here's some positive words, so please, All right. uh, brother. Indeed. Uh, Brother thank you very Martin. much. All right. thank, thank you very much, Reverend Leader. Lifting word song. Hey, thank you very much, Reverend Leader. Thank you very much, Councillor Martin. Thank you very much to right Sister Oracle.